what's up youtube welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going over the new red supernova deck that you guys have been waiting for the cards will also be in the description but before that i do want to mention that if you guys join my discord there is a deck request section that you guys can leave your request on what decks you guys do want to see on my channel and i will tally them up and based off of the end of season two we'll see what we have and season three will be the top requested deck but without further ado let's jump right in this is the and it is way better than what we had before so for those of you who didn't know i actually updated this deck with some of my stream chatters and and subscribers you guys are amazing you guys help me out better this deck um i actually like it way better than what i had 100 percent um but without further ado let's jump right in first we're starting off with droll and lockbird now this card is great because if you have this card in your hand first turn and let's say you already have your combo as well like the crimson and the wild wind and droll if they max c droll perfect card because it all uh, it cancels out maxi so they're not drawing any cards for the rest of the turn and you can do what you need to do without without being worried that eventually they'll draw into maybe like an ash or something so that's really good i i love this card now um we are running one synchron resonator one chain resonator um one maxi as of right now it's the only one that i have you guys can probably throw in more but i think this is a good staple deck um it has what it needs for the most part because your re your red dragons do most of the effects then we have three red resonators and three crimson of course you need crimson no matter what and red just because of the life points that you get based off of attack points amazing you can get up to like every match you're automatically at like 1100 11 000 life points then we have a fire ant just because we're running two dawn walkers these are good because you can automatically get another level eight synchro monster on top of what you do so it just adds on top to what you want to pull off running one creation resonator kind of want to run another level three probably a clock resonator or another creation resonator just because you don't ha this is your only level three resonator monster so you can't really pull off the crimson resonator one and three star tuner combo you would generally do the one and three star at first and then go into the double res double red resonators but still it's still good for one and if you guys do want to throw in another one take out skullmeister because skullmeister is the um card that negates a uh, card being returned from the graveyard or in a card effect activated in the graveyard actually so there's that then we of course we have one ash blossom three witch of the black forest this card is really good because if she leaves the field you could probably get back you can probably get another wild win or get maxi so that way in your next turn if you have no cards in your hand and your opponent is um doing a lot of special summoning then you will be able to ha at least have a hand and not just be um without any second um third turn cards because being a being not able to come back from you almost using all your cards in your hand in the first turn is really bad so i i think this was a great addition and it's a level four so it's amazing one stygian only because you could use them in the graveyard to special summon any card from your hand so that's really good um we already went over skullmeister red sprinter is more of a maybe just in case um you don't have any cards in your hand or any resonators but you do have them in your graveyard you can bring them back and start the combo that way and of course uh three wild wins because his special uh, um his effect is perfect with crimson's effect to be special summoned so that's amazing you don't even waste your normal summon we already went over the two dawn walkers and then going into the spell cards we have regeki 
Harpy's Feather Duster, Monster Reborn. Great cards, I'd say almost a must. Um, my stream um, suggested I run Star to Shimmer just because you could probably get back if your monster gets destroyed, which Supernova or Nova should not. But if they do, for any case, like if they take your monster and sacrifice it or whatever, you could get him back by banishing cards in your graveyard. So this card has pulled out amazing things, amazing comebacks. Three resonator calls, of course. You need them you need all the resonators. Um we're running two Return of the Dragon Lords now just because we have a Monster Reborn and a Shimmering. They do the same thing almost. But this card is good. You want to just because if it is in your graveyard, it could save your monsters from being destroyed. So definitely want to run two, maybe three. Then we have Lightning Storm. Put this in the card just because we already have a Regeki and a um, Harpy's Feather Duster. So if this one's basically a two, making this almost two, two without having to have it to two so it's very situational um next up we have resonator command this is your basically go-to for trying to get either wild wind or crimson and then or you could try the whole discard crimson get red sprinter and then special summon crimson from the graveyard there's a lot of different ways you could do this but generally you want to get crimson and wild wind in your hand Next up, we have Red Rain. You only, I'd say you'll only need to run one, but if you want to put more, it's really good because if you have any level eight or higher synchro monster, it doesn't say dark dragon synchro monster. It says level eight or higher synchro monsters. So you can run this with a lot of different cards, but Red Rain basically activates Supernova's effect where it banishes every single monster card and it keeps the highest level uh, monster on the field and i also play tested this where if you do have i had um red archfiend bane and tyrant on the field and since they're both level 10s they both stayed on the field so that was great um it's second effect where if you synchro summon again and this card is your graveyard you could get it back into your hand and play it again so you that's why you only really need one um of course and then i run one solemn judgment one solemn warning and one solemn strike just because they all do different things but they could really cancel out your opponent's field then going into the extra deck we are running three red rising dragons of course you need three because you want to pull off this combo multiple times we have a Bielze or Biel Bielze. That's what it looks like. Or Beals, however you guys want to say it. This card is great. The only downside is that it needs a dark tuner. So if you're using red um, resonator, you can't really bring him out. But his effect is amazing because he basically has um, Supernova and Nova's effect in his, where he doesn't get destroyed by battle or card effect. So there's that and then if you take damage he gains attack equal to the damage you take so he can get really high and he's already at 3000 beat stick right uh next up we have two scarlight just because you want to run at least two just in case you want to go into these other cards that need him mostly red nova but we also have chaos ruler this one actually has pulled off a lot of good things with his top five mil being able to get either wild wind or stygian in the graveyard to activate their effects pretty good or act, like get some resonators in the graveyard to you boost up nova and supernova so i would recommend running him definitely i will not recommend i definitely put him in your deck we have one red arch fiend um abyss two banes Tyrant, Red Dragon, Archfiend, one Nova, one Calamity, one Supernova, and then I recently just started using this deck with Barrel Sword in it. This one is a little situational. I'm still running it as of right now, but the one thing that I do want you guys to remember with this deck is that even though you get three um, effect monsters to summon it, he 
you have to watch out because crimson's effect to get more resonators so that means you have more monsters to link summon this monster but crimson resonator locks you into dark dragon synchro monsters so you won't be able to use crimson's effect to get barrel sword but if you use chain then you actually have a better situation right there so that's pretty much the deck you guys there are no replays for this deck as of right now but i just want to get this out to you guys because i know a lot of people have been wanting the update version of my last video so if you guys did enjoy tell me how this card plays out and this is definitely plat worthy so it goes up against a lot of the meta decks but it does take a lot of timing and situational situationalness so that's pretty much it for the deck guys so if you guys do play this deck it does have a good number of urs and stuff but you can see it's all rares except for the extra deck so hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please leave a like um let me know what you guys think in the comments below everything all the information will also be in the description and make sure you join that discord so you guys can let me know what you guys want me to um, play in season three because i already have my deck coming up and i can set that up later on so without further ado don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one